you know, some of us still got to work on a Friday. That's what I'm talking about. Live look from the top into the perimeter. Clouds are building for us. It, yeah, the weekend, uh, I guess there's some good news, bad news in this. We're going to check in with First Alert meteorologist Patrick P. Good news, one of the days looking better than we originally thought it would, but we still have plenty of rain. Um, to look ahead to. Yeah, Saturday, we've been talking for about the last 36 hours about the rain chances Saturday looking not as impressive as it looked earlier in the week. We were allowed to remove that first alert weather day because we don't think it's going to be too impactful for most of us. If you're in extreme North Georgia Mountains, you'll get a little bit of rain for the bulk of the day, but those rain chances really don't kick in until overnight into Sunday and Monday. So two first alert weather days for Sunday and Monday, as we do expect there to be multiple rounds of rain. Some of it will be heavy at times. And there's also going to be some rumbles of thunder and there's also the potential for some stronger storms on one of those days. So we'll dive into that in just a couple of seconds. Uh, right now, we'll get you through tomorrow's forecast, and we're going to be dealing with uh, lots of cloudy skies as you head out of the door. We'll watch for that rain to move in. That axis of precip will be to the north and west of the city. So I'm looking at you in Chattooga County, stretching into Gordon, Gilmer, Fanning counties, Union Towns counties. You're going to have the best chance of getting in on that rain on Saturday. Some of that will dip a little bit further south. If you're in Pickens County, can't rule out some showers, especially in the afternoon but that line does not really sink further south until late evening. So you'll see some spotty showers making their way into the metro. We threw in a chance for showers closer to around 7, 8 o'clock, and that's going to stick with us through the overnight and into your Sunday. So not a bad day to get some things done outside, whether that's going for a nice run, a bike ride. Already in the mid-60s around lunchtime, cloudy, so not going to be beautiful out there, but going to be comfortable enough to get out and about, hanging out in the upper 60s for the bulk of the afternoon, and then we'll introduce that low-end chance for showers as we head into the evening hours with that first alert weather day does take over as we head into Sunday. You can see that those showers and thunderstorms gradually start to sink further south as we head through the day, watching for some of that rain during uh, the morning hours when folks are heading to church. We'll get that first wave pushing into the metro as we head through late morning, early afternoon, and then we're going to see scatter showers really start to dominate as we approach the four to five o'clock time frame. A little bit of dry time and then another wave of moisture pulls into the region as we head into the evening hours. So 10, 11 o'clock. When folks are getting ready to leave those Super Bowl parties, we do expect some scattered showers and rumbles of thunder out and about. Now, I mentioned that risk for severe weather on Monday. You can see it's about a 15 percent chance for areas along and south of I-20. It's not going to be most of us, but it's going to be some of us. And we'll be studying that threat as we head through your Monday. Damaging wind gusts look possible. Of course, we're going to be expecting widespread totals of over an inch of rain. We're not looking at a real hail threat, but there is going to be some shear in the atmosphere. So we cannot rule out an isolated tornado with this system on Monday. So scattered showers around for the start of your Monday morning. Going to be wet as you make your way into work. Some thunderstorms start to fire up as we head into the afternoon, and that will gradually push towards the east as we head into the evening, eventually seeing things clear out as we kick off your Tuesday morning with some slightly cooler temperatures to start off uh, your Tuesday. Meanwhile, widespread totals of one to two inches could see some areas pick up up to three inches. Beyond that, things trend drier. Mid 50s for your Tuesday. Valentine's Day forecast looking sunny with temperatures near 60 degrees. Temperatures warming into the lower 60s and staying dry through the rest of the work week.